Hello everyone, this is Jacob Goji here, back with another toy review, and today we're going to be reviewing the Playmates Godzilla X Kong The New Empire Giant Scar King with, with Whiplash. Now this figure was released in Walmart stores along with the other figures, and this is pretty much the only one they had though. Like, they didn't have the 6 inch Scar King, or the other 6 inch figures like Godzilla Evolve, Kong with Beast Glove, or even Shimo either though. But I do plan to get those figures soon though. But I'm happy that I got this figure at Walmart for like $25, which that's how much the giant figures are. Well anyways, let's get on to the review. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the box. So we have, a, we have the view of the figure right there. And then right there it says Monsterverse, Godzilla x Kong, the New Empire, which is right there. And then we have a picture of Godzilla and Kong. Kong looks pretty scratched up. I like the way how Godzilla looks right here. It really gives me Millennium Era vibes. And right here it says Giant Scar King with Whiplash, ages 4 and up, Toho, Legendary, and Playmates. This is the front of the box. Now we get to the side of the box. It shows, um... Godzilla x Kong the New Empire, same thing, same picture. And then here we got the other side, where it shows a picture of the crystals, and then the same name of the figure. And here's the back of the box. And on the side it says, Scar King. Here you have a picture of the figure. And then it says, Godzilla and Kong return in an all-new adventure, pitting the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal, undiscovered threat hidden within our world, changing their very existence in our own. And yeah, really cool background. And we have the bottom of the box where it shows all the figures you can get. Giant Godzilla and Giant Kong with Beast Glove, which I'm not really gonna get because I already owned the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong versions. Well, that's all for the box. Sculpt on this figure actually looks really good though. I mean, I think this figure captures the way how Scar King looks in the movie. And the paint job is pretty decent on this figure. He's painted like um, a reddish orange color, which looks nice, kind of dark too. So as we get to the detail, we have the face. As you can see, his eyes are blue, which is accurate to how he looked in the trailer. And I'm not sure if, if he's gonna look like this in the movie where his, where his front, the front of his face is red and then this part is like exposed. I'm not sure what he's gonna look like, but I think it would be cool if he looked like this though. And then we have, the, um, the chest, the chest has some nice dry, nice shading over here. Yeah, not the best, but could have been better. And then we have the whiplash that he wears. Looks pretty ac accurate to how it looked in the trailer. And then we get to the, um, to his elbows. His elbows don't really have any fur on them. Like there's like a bunch of scars, you know, that's probably why they call him Scar King. And then we have the legs. Not much detail, but the toenails do have the same paint job as the face and the um, arms. And then we get to the back of the, the back. Uh, this is where things start to get ugly. The thing I don't like about the back of the figure is those screw holes. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about the giant figures is that they put screw holes on them and not be even bothering to cover them up though, which is something I might do. I might cover I might cover up those screw holes so that way they're, they're not exposed. As well as over here, which I didn't notice. Well, yeah. Overall, sculpt is amazing. The paint job and detail is pretty decent. Articulation on this figure is actually pretty good. Very poseable for an 11 inch figure. So let's get to it. So we have the head, which is on a ball joint. So we can look, get him to look up, sideways, or down which we can't. The arms are on a hinge, so you can like get them into some really cool poses. Yep, and then the elbows can ro can are on a hinge as well, as well as the, the wrists. And then the waist is on a ball joint. Yeah, very fun to move around though. And then the legs are on, um, they're on a hinge too, so you can get them to spread out. And the knees also rotate. So yeah. Articulation on this figure is pretty good. So I give this the articulation a pass. Starting off with accessories. The only accessory that Scar King comes with is, of course. Oh, yeah, it's kind of hard to take off. His whiplash. Yeah, 
the the whiplash is made out of like a rubber plastic but you can't really like bend it though yeah but it looks cool so there's a peg hole so like you take it off and then you um you put it on scar king's hand and now he's ready for action so you can get him into like a battle pose so it's kind of hard so you just just have have him bend over a little bit it does take a little bit of time to do it though, but you should get them in a in a pretty cool pose like like this. Yep. Yeah. Now Scar King is ready for battle. Yeah, I gotta say the accessory that he comes with is actually really cool though. Well yeah, that's all for the accessories. Here's a size comparison of figures you may or may not have. As you can see here, Scar King is not as big as I expected it to be. But you know, still a good height, but I still wish he was a little bit taller than Godzilla and, and finally, Kong. finally, here's a comparison between Scar King and Mechagodzilla. Oh yes, the two villains of the Godzilla and Kong movies. So we all know, Mechagodzilla is the main antagonist of Godzilla vs Kong. And Scar King is going to be the main antagonist of Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. Really hope they make it a, a giant Shimo pretty soon. So yeah, that's all for size comparisons. Overall, Scar King is a pretty good figure. I'm actually glad I got this figure at the beginning of the year though. Yeah, the scope looks nice, paint job is pretty decent, but I just wish they covered up the screw holes and very fun articulation. I recommend it to anyone who likes Godzilla and Kong though. I give this figure a 7.8 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Jacob Goji, signing off.